two-thirds of the adults in the U.S. are overweight. One half of the group is considered obese, and every year those numbers increase. For adults as well as children, one-third of all school-aged children are overweight, and when bad habits start early, they're hard to break. A Mayo Clinic nursing group is trying to change that by working with public school personnel, nursing students, and parents, hoping for healthier kids. Apples are a fruit you can eat. These fourth graders are getting a fun lesson in healthy living. Their song and dance is part of a Mayo Clinic community partnership and study designed to help kids develop healthy habits early. It really will take a village or a whole group of us and a community to come together to look at how can we shape healthy habits for life, how can we support parents in their journey of raising children. Nurse researcher Dr. Sharon Tucker says the study gets kids and their families focused on four goals developed by clinicians and researchers in Maine. The 5210 plan. The five is five servings of fruits and vegetables per day. The two is um, no more than two hours of TV and computer per day. One hour of exercise or more. And zero cents for zero, zero sugary drinks. The program includes tips on how to fit these goals one at a time into real life. And to keep track of getting in those five servings of fruits and veggies, the kids wear bracelets. And every time they eat one serving, they take a bracelet off and put it on the other arm. I love pears and Apples. Right. Student nurses help keep the kids motivated. How have you guys been doing on your choices at home? I'm learning to like not watch as much TV and to eat more fruits and vegetables. Research shows that if children develop healthy habits while they're young, they're more likely to maintain those habits as healthy adults. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams. Before we go, a brief look at the main headlines. Legislators debate the Auditor General and Public Accounts Committee's report on the Cruise Pier project. Government representatives accuse the Public Accounts Committee of delay tactics and a witch hunt to bring the Cruise Pier project to a halt. Cabinet makes decision to move the airport development forward with a reconfigured terminal building. Peebles Hospital to become a certified baby-friendly hospital and plans to offer telestroke service. A new era for sport tourism as Greenland Stadium kicks off with groundbreaking. A fire and Jokoi fret win the 60th festival Prince and Princess Crowns. And our special Diamond Jubilee Festival features continue on the elite sky dancers and the mystery that surrounds Mako Jumbies. In news from the Caribbean, USVI Governor John De Young says, the USVI stands to lose $18 million in economic activity if dredging permit for cruise port is not approved soon. And the Cayman Islands government reveals plans to improve the territory's airport infrastructure despite the ban on borrowing money. Remember, you can find all the news stories featured in this newscast as well as previous newscasts on our website, jtvlive.net. You can also watch this entire newscast on jtvlive.net along with JTV's television programs, community and government events. Additional information can be found on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash JTV55, as well as our JTV News YouTube channel, where you can find all our news features, press conferences, and Spotlight's top news segment with Sean Rose. We welcome your questions and comments. Email us at jtvnews at hotmail.com. For Sean Rose and the entire news team, I'm Eno Soman. Thank you for watching. Wardrobe provided by Umi Fashions.